Yeah, so, you know, if anybody ever follows this, uh, which is highly unlikely, um, <coughs> this really is just to sort of remind me of what I'm up to. Um, you may wonder, well, why is this guy, you know, what's the deal with this guy in the RV and all of this? Well, what happened was I've had a thing called trigeminal neuralgia which is the most painful condition known to medical science and I've had that since 1996 so like 15 16 years now basically it gives you agonizing pain even right now uh, in your head face and neck and uh, that's been the single like biggest event in my entire life and uh, what happens is when you're that messed up and in that much pain uh, I pretty much found out it's not fair and it's not cool to be in a relationship. I've been married and divorced, I think, five times. Uh, or be around, it's, it's, it's not okay to be around other people because it's a drag on them. And it's a drag on me because the way I, I, I figured out a way to work, and that is in the small space of the RV alone, right, just right there within arm's length is, is a place where I can lay down and I need to lay down when the pain gets really severe uh, sometimes up to you know once 15 minutes an hour and do some deep breathing um, and then I'll tell you how painful this is I one of the studio assistants it was kind of fucked up and funny but I'll just give you an example of how painful this is and I won't talk about it anymore he left a skateboard at the top of the stairs this kid that used to come around he wanted to learn how to record a mix and I was would sometimes take them on you know and teach them and uh, I fell down like a really like wooden hard wooden stairs that I had at this particular <laughs> facility uh, it was there already but they were like they're illegal now they're so steep but I fell down the stairs and I broke I fractured my skull cracked my neck and uh, broke four ribs off I did not cracked but broke clean off and the way I know that is I had cancer a few months later and when I had a complete body check done the doctor goes well what were you in a car accident a while back but and I was like no I you know anyway what happened was I fell downstairs fractured my skull cracked my neck and uh, broke ribs completely off and uh that didn't hurt I remember right after it happened I thought well that that sucked and it's not pleasant but fuck my fucking face and neck and head hurts like a motherfucker from this neuralgia I mean comparatively you know the pain was nothing having that kind of a fall down the stairs as soon as I hit the bottom I was like well that was fucked up but um, uh, the neuralgia hurt so bad that my mind went to that so yeah when you have that much pain and one of the things that's happened to me I wish I could actually afford glasses or get to a town to buy them um, one of the things that's happened is I've had to focus so fiercely and so heavily to get any of this done because I just gave up uh, for a long time and I'll, I'll get into that that's what all of this is about um, and people give up on you and when you're really sick I mean when I had cancer I thought well people will rally around you and uh, you know uh, help you and take care of you well that's a nice idea and, and really you can't expect other people ever to take care of you they they're busy doing their own thing and that's understandable you know so uh, yeah I mean I, I just sort of found out like you know fuck man I, I mean I wouldn't want anybody to take care of me. But you think, well, when you're really sick, people will take care of you. Not the case. Have insurance. And uh, because you can't, you know, people have their own lives. They get sick of you, you know, laying around and, and doing nothing. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I lead my life my own way, man. That's one of the reasons I don't have thumbs on here or comments is because uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again, you know. I thumbs up my own life and... Uh, I'm interested in your comments, but I don't have to approve of all the comments that pass through my life, and, and that's taken me a long time. <laughs> I used to do it differently, you know, and uh, 
but yeah you know so I was a guy and still am a guy who is you know really has tremendous amount of pain has to lay down every few hours it's a no joke disorder then I had cancer oh because of the trigeminal neuralgia I became a morphine addict and that went on severely for a decade to the point of where I was in and out of I lived in hospitals and and rehab and and I'll admit it you know most rehab places are dual diagnosis people think you're crazy so <laughs> you know I lived in and out of psychiatric hospitals and rehabs for a number of years uh, because of the tri trigeminal neuralgia most people who have it nine out of ten kill themselves in the first five years eight point eighty nine point nine percent the other one or two end up permanently institutionalized so you know I mean I've been through all of that. I've been I've been institutionalized, done it myself. I've just said I cannot take these painkillers anymore, and I cannot take the pain, and I'm going crazy. Lock me up, motherfuckers, and they sure did. Like in a 10-year period, like 32 times, I just went to the hospital and said I'm in. I I was so strung out at one time, living in hospitals. I didn't even know. Looking back, I mean, I didn't even know my own name at times. You know. And uh, so this whole thing is like some kind of, you know, cool thing that's happened. But what's happened is I've learned to sort of shut everything else and focus really intensely in what I'm doing. And that has made the music that I do, because I have to focus to get up and put my shoes on. It takes a tremendous amount of focus to do anything. So... Um, it's made the music now when I'm doing a mix or I'm playing or whatever I have to focus so hard to get around the pain that it uh, it's made everything better then on top of that I had a brain injury as a result of cancer treatment and lost use of my hands which I mentioned in another video and all. but so that's sort of the whole upshot it's like Jesus fucking Christ this guy is put together with WD-40 and paper clips you know uh, how is this working and I, I just do it a day at a time. I spend for the last hundred and like twenty one days today. Uh, I spend twenty hours a day producing music and videos. And because uh, if I wasn't, this one's going on a little long. But sorry if anybody ever watches it. But you know when I was really like they, they, they were like the doctor was like, well, I give you fifty fifty, maybe sixty forty of making it through cancer. I thought, fuck you know who is going to tell this story ever nobody cares only I care enough and, and I think that's the thing about life is only you care enough about your life to tell your story nobody gives a shit really I mean not really they can't and that's okay I'm not pissed about it I'm just an observation I can't really give a shit about someone else's life that deeply to to really you know tell their story and I thought oh man after all I've been through you know nobody's going to know this story and this is fucked up you know so yeah I mean um, I haven't taken any drugs or uh, for like three years plus now it took about a year to, to get off this of morphine prescription and daily you know a lot of it and uh, it's very typical for people who have trigeminal neuralgia to become drug addicts so um, or any chronic pain disorder and that's just the kind of hell that I'm so grateful and so happy to not I thought I was okay when I was on that shit but now that I can see like life and reality again even though I'm in a lot of pain it's so much better and I'm not one of those you know hey look everyone it's Tony Robbins you know <laughs> I have seen some rough ass shit in my life you know and uh, yeah I mean just for me I don't know you know you do what you want because I enjoyed the fuck out of drugs for many many years really mainly because I took them because pain kept driving physical pain kept driving me back to them so yeah I mean and that's sort of what my little film I'm making here is about is uh I was written off for dead nobody wanted to fucking deal with me doctors were like go take your drugs go you know my own family's like yeah whatever fuck off we've got shit to do you lay in that little room 24 hours a day and you know uh, who cares so yeah it's been a whole 
deal it's a real really truly is a trip <laughs> I'm able to do this but it, it like I said it takes a tremendous amount of focus when you have uh, the problems that I have and that focus is now sort of I have to super focus to put my shoes on so that's translated to the music I do and the videos I do and, and stuff like that obviously it didn't translate to having focus in a fucking video log <laughs> 1033